Okay, you are tuning in to another episode of the Illuminati Exposed Media.com podcast right here on Gospel Talk Radio every Wednesday night at 7 o'clock p.m. and Friday night at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You see the telephone number is right there in the title. If you want to call in with your questions or comments, you are welcome to call in. The telephone number is 515-606-5187. That's 515 515- Six zero six five one eight seven, and the access code is nine six one eight two four. It's all the telephone number is also in the title of this um, show. I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith, and my co-host is Brother Q Tip on the ones and the twos, ones and the twos. All right, so we're gonna be you know what I'm saying. Um, Get a pen and paper, you know what I'm saying? Get the right, right shit down. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this. Brother Israel. Brother, I'm not, uh, Brother Q-Tip. I, I, you know what I'm saying? I get my name mixed up. Brother Q-Tip? Yes, sir. Did you see the news lately and what Kanye West said and what Kanye West is doing and, you know what I'm saying, how Kanye West is causing the... Low budget, low minded idiots to say and do what they do. You, you heard you heard the con you heard the controversy <laughs> over uh, Kanye West lately. Nah, I don't really pay attention to the brothers like that. To be yeah, yeah, Kanye West talking about the. Uh, divorce of Kim Kardashian and he said he's too rich and you know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something, people. Kanye West is doing everything by the numbers. Kanye West is controlled opposition. Kanye West is only doing what he's doing because he's told to do it. It's a big distraction technique. That's all it is. You know what I'm saying? To keep you distracted on that so that you won't be awakening. But you know what I'm saying? We ain't going to talk about Kanye West too much longer because we got to understand who we are. Brother Israel? I mean, gosh, man. Brother Q-Tip? Go ahead and read read that first scripture. Matthew chapter 13, verse 7. And some fell among the stones, and that stone sprung up and choked them. Matthew chapter 13, verse 7. Some fell upon what? Thorns. Thorns. And what happened to him? What happened to those that fell upon thorns? What happened? And the thorns sprung up and choked them. And it's a damn shame that damn Nick Cadden, you know what I'm saying, done spoke and done said those words that he said. And you know what's a damn shame about it? Now one of you Negroes even took heed and came to who you are. Now, one of you niggas, you just look at it as entertainment. All you can think about is, oh, Nick Cannon is being sued. Oh, he's being canceled. Oh, he's, you know what I'm saying? He's about to lose billions. Never mind that. Did you even pay attention to what he said? Because what he said was the key thing here. Never mind his apology, because you know what I'm saying? That's what the elites do. You know what I'm saying? When you say something, then the elites make you come back and apologize for it. And that's what this is. That's what this whole Kanye West, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let's keep it real. Kanye West been a <clears throat> a clout chase and publicity stunt 
ever since he came into the game. It's, it started all the way back from when he was at the awards show. What did he go up to the, the podium when Beyonce didn't get the award? Uh, award. Oh, Beyonce deserved this award. He did that for publicity. When he went, you know what I'm saying, on the microphone and he said, George Bush don't like black people. That was for publicity. See, because let me tell you something, people. When these satanic scumbags, when these rappers and these artists, these celebrities pass their soul through the fire of Mola, do you know what they know? They already know who they are because they are told who they are. And part of their oath is they have to denounce their God. It's a damn shame that when you take that oath to become a celebrity, you got to, well, you are told who you are. You are told that you are Israelites. You are told that you are the children of Israel. You are told that you are the chosen people. You are told this. And you are told your God's name. Don't believe me? Why do you think that Black Eyed Peas artist, lead singer, called himself Will I Am? Why do you think he called himself that? You think it was a coincidence that he named himself Will I Am when in the book of Genesis, I mean the book of Exodus, the Most High God said, I am that I am, and translated, I am that I am, that's translated into a higher? Do you see? You got Beyonce. Beyonce had a, 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 a song called I Am. You are what? You see what I'm saying? So when you... Right. Yeah, go ahead, Brother, brother Q-Tip. I'm about to use that real fast. Oh, okay, okay. So when you come into this, when you come into Hollywood, you are automatically told who you are. You know what I'm saying? It didn't, it didn't just dawn on, you know what I'm saying, Nick Cannon, that, you know what I'm saying, he just found this shit out. Even Professor Griff. And, you know, I know a lot of people get behind Professor Griff and think Professor Griff is a truther and exposing this and exposing that. He's only doing what he's told to do also. He's only doing what... See, because let me tell you something. If Professor Griff had so much knowledge, and if Professor Griff... Because, come on, this, this Professor Griff is old. He's been in the game for years. Surely, it came across his mind that we are the children of Israel. Surely, right? But it didn't. Why not? Because he knows he's just an agent. You got agents in certain levels. You know what I'm saying? To see, he's no different than, you know what I'm saying, what's that dude named uh, uh, Corey Feldman. You know what I'm saying? An agent. Calls himself exposing, but at the same time, he's with the shit shits. So when I hear things like this with Kanye West, you know what I'm saying? That that falls right along with what Brother Q Tip read. When when Nick Cannon spoke that, because hey, that that was spoken, and you know what I'm saying? A whole lot of Negroes heard what Nick Cannon said. But how many people that it fell upon? And guess what? Guess what's going to eat up that seed that was sold into you? Because that was a seed. Let me, I'm going to have Brother Q-Tip go ahead and read that scripture again. Brother Q-Tip? Yes, sir. Go ahead and read that scripture again. Matthew chapter 13, verse 7. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. Some fell upon thorns, and the thorns 
sprung up and choked them. That what Nick Cannon said was a little piece of a jewel that was supposed to be planted within you. But guess what's going to choke that up? By Nick Cannon coming back and apologizing. That's going to choke that up. By, you know what I'm saying, all through the media, he's being called an anti-Semite. That's what's going to choke that up. And you know what else going to choke that word up that was spoken by Nick Cannon? This Kanye West thing. Now you are more focused on, oh, Kanye, Kim and Kanye is divorcing. That's a distraction. You being, that, that knowledge that was just planted in you by what Nick Cannon have said in the beginning is being choked up. This wisdom right here. You know what I'm saying? This is oh, this is not this wisdom is not for everybody. This truth is not for everybody. But go ahead, brother Q tip. Brother Q tip. Yeah, go ahead. Matthew chapter ten, verse twenty one. Matthew chapter ten. Verse 21. Matthew chapter 10, verse 21. Go ahead. And the brother should deliver up the brother to death, and the father the child. And the children should rise up against their parents, and cause them to be put to death. And cause them to be put to death. Kanye West is supposed to be our brother, but he's delivering you up to death. You know what I'm saying? You think, you know what I'm saying, oh, he's, I'm going to vote for him. We can't be voting in America. What the hell? I don't care if Kanye West is running for president. I don't care if Nick Cannon is running for president. Why are you voting? I mean, okay, I'm put it like this, people. Did you see any Israelites voting to put the pharaohs? In rulership. Did the did the Israelites back in yeah, brother Q tip. Did the Israelites back in Egypt did they um have power to vote? No. No. And why would the Israelites back in Egypt, you know what I'm saying, vote to put another pharaoh over them? Because that's what you're doing when you're voting in America. You are voting to put another pharaoh over you. Yes, I know some of you idiots may say, well, Nick Cannon is my brother. Nick Cannon is my, um, he, he's my brother. He can make change. He's the same skin color as me. Yes, but he worked for the pharaoh. He took an oath with the pharaoh. So if you voting for Nick Cannon or Kanye West, you're just voting to put another pharaoh in place. Because you best believe if Kanye West gets in the office or Nick Cannon get in the office, you best believe they both of them ain't got no say so in doing nothing. They are handed a script every time they ready to go and make a speech. But this is a distraction. To deliver you up for death. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Nick Cannon talking about. I mean they talking about Nick Cannon's an anti-Semite. I mean not Semite. Shemite. It's impossible. That those white cars Can be a Shemite. That's impossible. That's unheard of. Now they can be a uh, Japhite because when Noah came off that ark, three families came out of Noah. Noah had three sons: Japhet, Ham, and Shem. Those white cars ours cannot be Shemites because we are Shemites. They cannot be Hamites because the Africans are Hamites. The only thing they can be is Japhites. So if you want to be politically correct, 
you might as well say they are. Uh, Nick Cannon is being, and he's an anti Jeffite. But these two brothers, these two, yes, I, and I say these two brothers because they are no, none of your brothers because they mean you no good. It's Kanye West and Nick Cannon. They doing this because the elites told them to do this. And they doing this because they want to deliver you up. For death. Read that scripture again. Matthew chapter what, brother is brother Q Matthew chapter ten, verse twenty one. And the and the brother to deliver up the brother to death, and the father the child. The brother and the, the children mm -hmm. rise up in their parents and cause them to be put to death. Look at that. And the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. You know why? Because it's not the older folks that's following Kanye West. Because, I, you know what I'm saying? I don't follow Kanye West. I don't follow Nick Cannon. It's the younger folks. So the younger folks is believing everything Kanye West and Nick Cannon is saying. And if the older folks say something about it, they don't know what they're talking about. They're haters. This is a new generation, Grandpa. And that's exactly what they want. They want to get the younger generation because the younger generation controls the older folks. When that's backwards, kind of like the black household, the woman controls the man. That's backwards. But this is how they want it. It's a sick and twisted world, people. A sick and twisted world. You know what I'm saying? And the elites know what they're doing. Because let me tell you something, people. If you think this coronavirus thing is going to let up, hell no. They are just having problem after problem. They're just prolonging you. That's all they're doing. They're lifting one, one, one thing and then blinding you with another thing. Oh, y'all didn't hear me. You know what I'm saying? They're lifting one thing. Okay, the death toll of the coronavirus is, um, it's, it's lightening up. It's less fatalities. But yet, do you not know that look at the food source. In America, people. Look at the food source. Pay attention to what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Look at what's fucking going on. Stop being blinded with this Kanye West and Nick Cannon shit. Look what's going on. What I think you need to do is you need to better stack up on some non-perishable foods. Because the Bible says in that day it's going to be a famine in the land. And that's what's going on now. Look at most of you know what did they say about Walmart? I said I heard this on the news earlier today. They said for Thanksgiving, Walmart is gonna be closed. That's just the beginning. They closing a lot of these food stores and the and the food stores that they're gonna leave open. Look at how they militarizing it. They ushering in a lot of shit. You people better wake up and understand that you know what I'm saying what Kanye West is doing, he's a puppet. What do a puppet do? Give on a great show. Nick Cannon is a puppet. What do a puppet do? Give on a great show. I mean, me and Brother Q-Tip is giving you a show, but we're giving you a show that's full with knowledge. And it's free. And it's free. You see? And thy, and thy brother shall be against thy brother. Shall, well, thy brother shall deliver thy brother up to death. That's what Kanye West is doing to you. Because... He's being a great puppet. 
giving you a great show. Your mind is distracted. You don't want to hear what the prophets are saying. So what's that going to do? When that martial law come? And when they put your ass in FEMA camps? Guess what? You didn't want to hear what we were saying. Why? Because Kanye West had you distracted. The children shall deliver the... Uh, uh, the children shall do what? What's that? Read that scripture again. The children shall deliver what? Matthew chapter 10, verse 21. Matthew chapter 10, verse 21. And the brothers shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father the children. And the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. Look at it. And like never before, the children is rising up against the parents. Children killing their parents, sacrificing their parents. Hell, even Kanye West sacrificed his parents. Well, not his parents, his parent, his mama. And that's somebody you're going to listen to? You're going to listen to someone who killed his own mama for fame. You're going to listen to somebody like that? Because if he got the heart to kill his own mama, what makes you think he gives a shit about you? You see what I'm saying? But anyway, Brother, brother Q-Tip, go ahead. Luke chapter 12, verse 8 and 9. Go ahead. Also, I say unto you, whoever shall, shall confess me before men, he shall, he shall the Son of Man also confess before the angels of God. Okay, so who are we supposed to confess before men? Brother Q-Tip? Who are we supposed to confess? Okay. We should confess to the Son of Man. Yeshia. See, you people are so distracted by Kanye West and his buffoonery and and uh, Kim Kardashian and and and, and uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Nick Cannon and his buffoonery. You so um, confused and distracted with that. That you guys don't even know who you calling on. You know what I'm saying? Because when that day come, you guys going to be calling on Yeshua and wondering why Yeshua ain't answering you. And when that day come, you guys going to be calling on Jesus and wonder why Yeshua is not answering you. And that day, you guys going to be going, calling on, what, Jehovah? All these names that we are given. These names are given to us. Do you not know that the holy, most sacred is name in the world is a higher in the name of Yeshia? That's why you don't hardly hear it. You don't hear, not hardly, you don't hear it spoken. But you hear Yeshua, the same name that our enemies speak, Yeshua. Well, you must understand, if our enemies speak that name, what makes you think that that is our Messiah? Because our enemies ain't going to speak our Messiah's name. Hell, our Messiah is going to murder him and put him in his place. Our enemies is not going to speak a higher. Because a higher is going to put them in a place. You guys don't even know the most the the, the, the our Messiah's real name. That's a that, that brother brother Q tip. You know it's it's a shame. 
that, you know what I'm saying, these people don't even know our Messiah's name. You know what? Let me let's let's go ahead and uh before we move on, put your bookmark on that scripture right there because we're gonna come back to that. Go to Hosea um three sixteen. Because they don't even know. They calling and calling and wonder why their prayers ain't being answered. Wonder why they still, you know what I'm saying, suffering the things that they suffering because you calling on the wrong name. Baphomet got a name. Moloch got a name. You know what I'm saying? Buddha got a name. What else? Uh, uh, um, all all of these different gods, they got names. What name are you calling on? What's your god name? Yeah, um, Hosea chapter, I think it's, uh, 216, I think it's 216, I'm sorry. I said 316, it's 216. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna see what, what our, our, um, Messiah's name is. You know what I'm saying? The one that's going to redeem you. The one that's going to make you free. The one that's going to protect you. It said Hosea chapter 2 verse 16. And it should be at the day, said the Lord. Thou shall call me Israel. And shall call me no more thou. So it said, it shall be in that day that thou shalt call me Ishi. Now, if you get the Strong's coordinates and look up the word Ishi, you know what you will come out with? Yeshia. Also interpreted my Savior. That's his name. It says, it shall come to pass, Hosea 2.16, it shall come to pass that thou shalt call me Ishi and no more Baal. Jehovah, that's Baal. Yeshua, that's Baal. Yahweh, that's Baal. Buddha, that's Baal. You know what I'm saying? All, all these different names we got for these different gods that our enemy gave to us. These are Baal worships. And we're living in that day that he said it shall come to pass that in that day, which is this day, that ye shall no longer call me, that no, that ye shall call me Ishi, and no more Baal. But yet we are in this day, and my people are still calling him Baal. You know why? Because you got agents like Kanye West and Nick Cannon distracting you. You know what I'm saying? Kanye West and Nick Cannon. Yo, oh, Kanye West, Nick Cannon comes out talking about, oh, the Jews are black. Yes, we know this. We've been new this. We've been preaching this on the street corner every Sabbath day, trying to wake your dumb asses up. <laughs> and all you can say, and now you got a celebrity, Nick Cannon, who confirmed it. And you Negroes still ain't getting it right. You still ain't doing your research. You still ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying, find out what it takes to get free. You still ain't doing it. Why? Because when you come into this truth and you wake up, you know it comes with responsibility. You men, it comes with responsibility. You women got to stop being whores. Yeah, I don't want to stop being whores. You men got to stop being whores also. And y'all don't want to stop being whores. That's why you don't want to hear it. That's why you rather hear, oh, Kanye West, you know what I'm saying, is divorcing. Let me tell you something, people. 
Before Kanye West get a divorce, you will find Kanye West dead. You don't hear me? I'm going to say this again. Because before, because Kanye West so-called is worth a billion dollars, right? How much was, um, what's his name, uh, Kobe Bryant worth? He was worth less than he's worth now. Now, he's worth a billion. He was worth less before he died. Now that he's dead, he's worth more. And who got ownership over, over his wealth? His whore of a wife. See how that worked? So I say this. If you guys looking for a Kim Kardashian and Kanye West divorce, it's not happening. You will find Kanye West sacrificed as so that so that Kim Kardashian can be the get a conservatorship over his fortune. Understand that. You heard it first here. You know what I'm saying? But it's a distraction. But uh go ahead, brother Q tip. For the Q-tip? Oh, okay, go ahead. Luke chapter 12, verse 9. Luke chapter 12, verse 9. Okay, Luke chapter 12, verse 9. Go ahead. Before he deny me before men, he should deny me before angels of God. Ooh, read that again. Luke chapter 12, verse 9. But he that denied me before men should be denied before the angels of God. Wow. And you know what I'm saying? Yo, Brother Q-Tip, you have a lot of people that's taking Christ for a joke. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you you got a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, that think, you know what I'm saying, that's taking Christ for a joke. But in the end, <laughs> Christ and us, the saints, is going to have the last laugh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When you come into this truth, you got to humble yourself. And you niggas don't want to be humbled. You you niggas, you know what I'm saying, will want to want to still try to be that the shit. You don't want to be humble. You got the number one, you got to humble yourself. Number two, you know what I'm saying? Uh um you got to everything that you you know what I'm saying have, you're gonna find that being stripped from you. You know what I'm saying? If you're rich, you got to, you know what I'm saying, you got to dedicate that wealth into spreading this gospel. If you got any type of money, and you niggas don't want to do that. You heard what the Christ says, it'll be easier for a camel to go through an eye of a needle before a rich man can inherit the kingdom. So when you see people with wealth and people with money and you think and they talk about they in the truth, well, what are they doing? Are they using that money to build up the nation of Israel? Because that's what a rich man does if he's in the truth. He uses that money to build up Israel. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Nick Cannon, you worth billion. You talking about, you know what I'm saying, you in the jeopardy of losing your billions. But you know that you're Israel. You know that black people are Israel. What are you doing about it? It's one thing to talk about this shit, but what are you doing about it? You ain't doing nothing. Because if you was 
do if you really let's check this out. And brother Q tip, mm -hmm. if Nick Cannon really was about that talking about he's the uh, Israelite and all this stuff, if he really was speaking that truth and he really uh, 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 um uh, for his people, you know what he would do? He would join one of the Israelite camps. That's what he would do. And being that he's a I so called. Who? I think, um, Kodak Black said that he went to Yeah, Kodak Black, yeah, yeah, Kodak Black did. You know what I'm saying? But, see, it was too late for Kodak Black. You cannot take an oath with Satan and then turn and, uh, uh, um, Want to worship the Most High? Because the Bible says, "Render unto." No, yeah, go ahead. It's just like the same thing Jacob did to Esau. Yeah, he said, "Render unto me." Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, "Oh, he's hungry, right? Give me a birthright." And then after he gave it to him, then he knew everything. But now he can go back. Exactly. You, hey, that was a perfect. That was a perfect example. That was a perfect example. Say that again. Like, same thing, like, they saying, no, because Esau was the coming man, you know what I'm saying? He was in the field. And, and Jacob was just a plain man in the house. Then. So, you know, he always stayed in the house, you know what I'm saying? Esau was out there in the field trying to hunt food, but he didn't get none. So he was still hungry, so he came home. And he seen his brother, and he said, oh, let me get some of that. And he was like, it's not cooked. Exactly. He said, oh, like, so, 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 and we don't have to get people with them at all. That's the problem. But people are still super to see that though. Yeah. They want to get people with them. They got to get people with us. And they can, and, and no one, and, and to keep it real, no other nation can ever, I don't care how hard they try, they can never be equal to us. Because we are the apple of the Most High God's eye. We are the soul of the earth. You know what I'm saying? You, they can't be equal with us. But yet, you know what I'm saying? They causing this, this ruckus in America. And they got the brain dead black folks. You know what I'm saying? Protesting, talking about to, they want to be equal. It's the, it's the same thing with Martin Luther King. It's the same thing with Martin Luther King. Before Martin Luther King came about, you know Martin Luther King was an agent. Before Martin Luther King came about, you know what I'm saying, with his I have a dream and doing all that civil rights stuff. We was okay. We took care of each other. We didn't have no problems. It was no black on black crime. You know what I'm saying? It was no, you know what I'm saying, shooting uh, gangs, black gangs, or nothing like that. It was none of that. We uh, built each other businesses up. But they put Martin Luther King in place, that agent, to do what? To integrate us into society. Whose society? Their society. And as we integrated into said society, 
our businesses and our society went down. You know what I'm saying? Can never be never you can never be you can never be equal with the children of the most high. Because the earth was built for us. Y'all might not know it, but the earth was built for you. And Esau just and and then they go to the lightning. And Esau just came in place to do what? To destroy. But the uh, go ahead, brother Israel. Jeremiah chapter fifty-one, verse nine. He would have killed Adam, but he is not ill. For take her and let us go everywhere, or everyone into our own country. For her dust reached unto heaven, and it lifted up even to the sky. Oh, read that again. Jeremiah chapter what? 51 verse 9. 51 verse 9. Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 9. Go ahead. I don't know if I'm clear. You hear me clear enough, Mike? Say it, huh? You hear me clear? Yeah, I can hear you. Go ahead. Alright, make a talk. Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 9. We will have held Babylon, but she is not ill. Forsake her and let us go. Everywhere one no every one no everyone into his own country. For her judgment reaches from the heaven. It lifted up even to the sky. See, Babylon cannot be healed. With protesting. This Babylon got to be healed by the Most High God. By nuclear fire. By the nuclear missiles. That's how Babylon got to be healed. And for you don't know what Babylon is, this is Babylon. America. That great whore. That's Babylon. And Babylon cannot be healed. You cannot heal. You cannot heal Babylon by removing some racist statues of old slave masters. That's not healing Babylon. You know what I'm saying? You cannot heal Babylon by, you know what I'm saying, putting another black man to be the ruler over, over Babylon. I mean, you, you had a one black man which was Obama which his skin was just black but he wasn't black he was a Hamite he was an African but Babylon can't be healed Babylon gotta be destroyed and let me tell you something if you guys don't have that same mindset then you guys are just like Lot's wife and I hate to say it you know what happened to Lot's wife. You got to have that same mindset. Because you got to get mad. When you see shit. Like this. What goes on. Damn that. The alphabet girls running loose. And signing laws. And you know what I'm saying. Taking over. You know what I'm saying. Adultery at all time high. Babylon cannot be healed. This got the only way Babylon's gonna be healed is by nuclear missiles, nuclear fire. That's the only way. What you think about that Q tip? Man, it's all possible. Because this is the year prophecy, so almost every day it's prophecy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And the Elise is doing a wonderful job keeping you distracted. Do you see how when one celebrity 
raise up and say something concerning us and us being a chosen people? Do you notice? You know what I said? Yeah, go ahead. They even said, they said Kanye West, they said the Kennedy, then they said Troy Lane, and, and, and Megan said, talking about they getting shot. She's like, it's all over. Everything is all over. Oh, and don't forget about um, don't don't forget about uh uh you Tory Lanez uh the August Alcina and the uh Will Smith. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, you know, and and another distraction. August Alcina's did had dropped his album uh but uh, song between uh featuring Rick Ross, talking about entanglement. Yeah, all of that's a distraction. And guess what? Our people... He was already doing open relationships. He was already doing open relationships. They just made it public so they can do it. Oh, girl. That's what they did. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's crazy. I did have That's like so simple, too. Yeah, it's all, it's all a distraction. You know what I'm saying? To keep you unfocused on what was initially said. The black people are the drill Jews. That is not even uh, 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 spoken about. You know what's being spoken about? You know what's being war? You know what's being overshadowed by the initial thing that um, Dick Cannon said? Him losing his uh, uh, uh billion dollar company that's 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 being overshadowed you know what I'm saying everybody's talking about him losing his battle with his his uh company uh and and that oh and and, and don't forget about the uh, Tamar Braxton who commit almost committed suicide so all of that's a distraction to knock you off your block see because the worst thing that can happen is you Negroes waking up and then coming together with one mind, praying to one God. That's the most I got to hire. See, they don't want that because then they know. <laughs> That's the biggest part. That's the biggest part that us actually put my hands on. Exactly. And that's their biggest fear. That's their biggest fear, you know. Mm -hmm. They only got mm -hmm. So, so read that scripture again. No Babylon can be healed. It says Jeremiah chapter fifty-one. Uh, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. But take her and let her go. Into his own country, for her judgment reached onto heaven and it lifted up even to the sky. And let me tell you something, people. Do you see that scripture? It says, Let us get into our own country. Look at all of the foreigners that was living high off the hog here in Babylon. Look at all of the foreigners that had businesses, you know what I'm saying, profiting real good off of you Negroes, the consumers. Because, you know, the niggas is the biggest of consumers in America. And you was the one that was buying the products and services of these foreigners. Now, look, are they not fleeing Babylon and going back to their own country? I mean, this is prophecy. I don't even, I don't have to, you know what I'm saying? I don't have to lie about nothing. I'm reading right out of this. Well, I'm not reading. Brother Q-Tip is reading right out of the scriptures. It says, let us flee into our own countries. All of these businesses is closing up. Foreign, foreigner businesses. They closing up, ain't they? And they going back yeah. to their own country. 
because they know. See, because they even know. Even the foreigners know the prophecy of the Most High. Even the foreigners know that, you know what I'm saying, they're, you know what I'm saying, getting, it's up, it's over. Even they even know that. And they going back to their country because they know that we, well, they know that America is going to be destroyed. And I know you, some of you are saying, well, what about us? Well, if you was even paying attention and seek the Lord, you would have instructions on what to do when those terminal nuclear missiles hit America. You would know. If you only seek, seek the Lord, seek the Lord. If you only kept the commandments. I mean, we've been preaching for years on the street corners. All we get is hate. But at the end of the day, we are the ones that's going to escape. Because the Most High God is going to put a trench around us and destroy all of those who didn't listen. You know what I'm saying? It's a damn shame. I don't know what y'all going to do. Y'all being distracted and everybody else is taking heed. You all these foreigners, they know these scriptures and they know prophecy. They leaving, they escaping. Them motherfuckers escaping, you know what I'm saying? Gas stations closing down, boarding up. They out of here. But go ahead, brother Q tip. So, so I was a hungered, and you gave me meat. I was thirsty, and you gave me. Yeah, yeah. Read that over all, all the way, all, all the way. Mm -hmm. I was a stranger, you took me in. Let me tell you something, people. Who is doing the right thing to you and who's doing the wrong thing to you? See, the children of Israel must get this knowledge. Matter of fact, read that scripture again and read it all the way to the end where it says, if you did it... At to the least of these, you have done it to me. I think. I think it's. I think that's all the way to the end. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Matthew chapter thirty-five, no, no, twenty-five, verse thirty-six, all the way to forty. For I was hungry, and gave me meat. I was thirsty, and gave me drink. I was a stranger, and he took me in. Thirty-six, naked, and he clothed me. And I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, we were sore. When saw we thee a hundred and fed thee, or thirsty, and gave them drink? When I saw we thee a stranger, and took them in, or naked, and you clothed thee, or when we saw we be sick and present, and you came unto me. And the king shall answer and said unto them, Rarely I said unto you, In, in a month of he have done it unto one of these leaves of these of my 
my brethren has done it unto me. You hear that? Who is Yeshia's brethren? Let's see here. You Christians who's calling on Jesus cannot say that Yeshia is your brother. Because you don't even know your you don't even know Yeshia's name. You know what I'm saying? You ain't even heeding to Yeshia's brother's teaching. Because even Christ, Yeshia, said to his own mama and his own daddy. Yeshia, when the Pharisees say, Is not your mother and your father here with us? Your brother and your sister? Christ looked around, said, Fool, my mother and my father are those who do the will of my father. My brother and my sister are those who do the will of my father. You cannot, you know what I'm saying, say that you are a Christian. You cannot call yourself praising the Lord and all of this other stuff. And you're not even one bit concerned about what them Hebrews are teaching out there on them street corners. When you see them Hebrews out there teaching on them street corners and you don't even give an ear. When you see them Hebrews teaching on social media and you don't even give an ear. You ain't none of crisis. You ain't none of your shires. Because Christ, your shire, says, He who does the will of the Most High God are higher. See, Christ, your shire, comes from the tribe of Judah. And you Negroes are from the tribe of Judah. But the scriptures also says, not all of Israel is of Israel. So just because you're black, just because you're a Negro, don't make you Christ's brother. You got to do what Christ say do in order to be his brother. You see? Just because you gave that Hebrew a cup of water, don't make you think that you're going to be saved. Because you got to do what the Most High God does. Told you to do. Along with giving that Hebrew some water. You give that Hebrew something to eat. Don't think you're going to be saved just because you got that Hebrew something to eat. You got to give that Hebrew something to eat. As well as keep these laws, statutes, commandments. Because it's your soul that needs saving. Water given to a Hebrew is not saving you. Food given to a Hebrew is not saving you. You know, I had to say that because, you know, you have a lot of people out there that think just because you donate, you're going to be saved. Just because you sow in a seed, you're going to be saved. I don't want your, I don't want your donation if you ain't going to walk. With Christ. My, listen, listen, we don't, we, we ain't hard up for no money over here. And it's not money that motivates this truth. It is the most high. You know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of these Christian churches get all type of donations and all type of, you know what I'm saying? That's why all these Christian churches get all these, all these donations. Because the people think that if they donate, they are in good graces with Yeshia. No. Because the evilest person can donate a million dollars. That makes that person still evil. That's why Christ himself told that rich man, go and sell all that you have and give it to the poor. Then come back and then you can have the kingdom. 
he went off, kept going walking because he knew his heart was on his money. I just had to lay that out there, brother, brother, brother Q-Tip. You know what I'm saying? Because you have a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 uh, not only, not only on this ministry, uh, um, you have. I see a lot of people donate on other people's uh, uh, on YouTube and stuff like that, sending cash apps and stuff like that, thinking that, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna support these brothers. I'm going to donate, and you know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? I'm in good grace. No, that don't make you in good grace. Uh, uh. You got to walk. You got to save yourself. But anyway, this is top of the... Oh, we at the top of the hour. We at the top of the hour. We want to thank you all for tuning in and logging on to another episode of the Illuminati Exposed podcast show. Radio podcast show right here on Gospel Talk Radio. I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. My co-host is Brother La, brother Q-Tip. If you are new to this channel, uh, new to this podcast, hit that follow button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Share button. Comment board. I think that's going to wrap it, wrap it up. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you all.